the use of animals within the veterinary science course and with our veterinary students is through, mostly through, through teaching. My name is Dr Stephen Pycroft, I'm a senior lecturer in veterinary pathology. The animals that will come to us here, straight diagnostic cases, we have uh, quite a bit of donation work for, for people who are looking to donate their animals to science and to the education of veterinary students. We go through quite a few specimens here. We, we have um, at least one cow a week that, that is part of uh, other studies for the, for the students. My name's Adrian Hines. I work at the Roseworthy campus of the University of Adelaide in the School of Animal and Veterinary Science and I work in the necropsy lab. So what do you do with the animals after you've, after you've finished with the teaching or the, the diagnostics? I guess the, the option that we've discovered here for, for dealing with their biological waste here at the University of Adelaide um, involves a digester. So we have a, a, a machine termed a biobin um, and within that biobin, so it's a sort of a, an aerobic digestion uh, system. The biobin um, is a, a, a composting um, bin that, that it, it pumps a, a, an air volume in as well as taking moisture out with that. So there's, it, it's a nine cubic metre bin which is quite large and it has a network of, of tubes through the bottom which air is pumped through. Um, we dispose of the animal carcass into the bin and put in an equal volume of, of other organic matter like wood chips or, or, or hay or, or wood shavings. Um, that assists in uh, um, absorbing moisture um, and with the air it creates a, a, a good composting environment with, with high heat and, and breaks down this organic matter at a, at a rapid rate. We used to have to uh, dispose of these animals in, in normal wheelie bin sized bins and in order to do that, we had to section them up into to pieces that can fit into a bin. So I can't imagine going through the, the current student loads that we have in the lab and the number of specimens we have going through the lab if I had to dispose of them in, in the old method. Um, the biobins enabled us to become much more efficient in that regard. The funding from the, the Green Project Fund was used to purchase the, the dumpster bin that we used to get the organic matter from the lab into the bio bin. That enables us to get larger specimens out there when, uh, in a more efficient manner rather than just using the forklift. We can use this bin and it's, uh, the original idea was to save time and, and effort in, in the lab as well. We could just dispose of things much, much quicker and more efficiently with the students as well. The Green Project Fund is an annual $100,000 fund um, provided by the Office of Sustainability for sustainability projects that work towards the university's environmental targets. My name's Philippa Schliebs. I work in the Office of Sustainability as an Environmental Project Officer. The idea behind the bio bin was a no-brainer in terms of what it could deliver to the vet school. Once the project was approved, we were very quickly able to implement the actual um, electrics and functionality behind the bio bin itself. The bin was, de was delivered and within about two months of the end of the application process, um, the bin was starting to be used by the vet school. The bio bin has allowed us to, it, it's a, a fraction of the cost to what we were using before. With, with the, the wheelie bins they were costing us around two or three dollars a kilo to dispose of and um, you can imagine with a cow that's 500 kilos it's a, a, a pretty high cost. So the bio bin, uh, we will fill that up in probably five or six weeks and, and that costs us around $500, $600 to get taken away. So the cost is, is um, amazingly reduced with the bio bin. The vet school is currently saving up to $50,000 a year on reduced waste disposal costs as a result of the bio bin. 